30 seconds, our friend Ankita is here. She is going to give you a warning. At 3 minutes, our other friend is going to mute the mic. So please uh, prioritize how you want to use your 3 minutes. Because everyone's time is valuable. And then judges will ask questions. Typically, it will take another 2 minutes for each uh, presentation. Neeraj is not going to throw a shoe at us, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you asked 3 questions. You are only supposed to ask one. No, no. We are asking on your behalf. No. And a second important thing is, please mention your team name uh, if you are not using a deck. And please mention the category that you have submitted in. Okay? Thank you. All the best. part of uh, hiring uh, at your work and uh, so you know hiring is a very tedious process. Uh, there is a lot we can automate there and we are here to present you our attempts to automate one part of it. So presenting you the hiring assistant. Um, so this is the solution uh, we have implemented to uh, automate the screening part of the hiring process. And, um, So uh, this is the system diagram of hiring assistant. So hiring assistant heavily relies on prompt engineering, but let's walk through the design quickly. So uh, our front end is a simple uh, web page. Well, uh, that's not our primary channel. So from web uh, web page, we uh, send a WhatsApp message to the candidate's uh, WhatsApp number, and from there they can just upload uh, their PDF resume and submit their job application. Usually in the traditionally, uh, we upload the resume, we fill the form and a lot of details in a website to get through uh, simple job application. Um, so here, uh, once the resume is uh, uploaded, uh, sent in the WhatsApp, it is sent to our orchestrator, which is the brain behind our uh, application. It converts the PDF resume into TXT because TXT is a format we need to feed to open API, start GPT API. And as a part of this, you can see these four uh, activities here. So once you have the resume in text format, we uh, get the profile score, uh, which is the comparison of candidate's resume against the job description. So that is like 6.5 out of 10. So there's a prompt engineering involved there where we ask ChatGPT to provide the score by comparing candidate's resume against the JD. And then uh, once the... Uh, so, because of shorter of time, we will play the demo. Sorry about that. Welcome to the demo of Hiding Assistant. Here on the screen, you can see a simple web page for a job application. Traditionally, we have been applying for a job by filling a form, uploading resume, and submit the job application. Hiding Assistant allows you to apply for a job using WhatsApp, which we walk around carrying in our pockets all the time. On this web page, when user clicks the apply using WhatsApp button, user is prompted to provide the phone number on which WhatsApp is available. At the end of the process, we send the WhatsApp message on this number and user can send the resume in PDF format to apply for the job. So here you can see that we have received a welcome message from a hiding assistant. So I'm going to send my resume here in PDF format. As you can see on the screen, we received the message from hiding assistant, the candidate is shortlisted. Here this is the um, notification for the interviewer which uh, to tell them that in, uh, candidate has been shortlisted. It has the uh, resume extract, you can see the highlights, contact information, total years of experience and here are some sample interview questions uh, to help the interviewer to warm them up for the uh, upcoming interview. Now let's see the another email which we sent to HR partner. Here is the notification for HR which uh, sends the uh, resume summary to them and ask them to get in touch with the interviewer to schedule the interview. That's all for now. Thank you.
Is it primarily the uh, submission process that has been integrated on the uh, with uh, OpenAI, or you know what what specific steps have been integrated with? So there is uh, initial screening of the resume. The where screening is actually being done automatically. Sorry, say that again. Is the screening being done automatically? It's a What exactly do you do by extracting the resume? Like, I was not clear on that. So you extract the resume, convert it into text, right? Uh, does the questions get generated based on the resume or is it anything? You, there was something where it said question. Yeah. So um, it's a two-fold thing. One is to uh, warm the interviewer up for this upcoming interview so that they have uh, some sample questions for the uh, in upcoming interview. Then the summary is, uh, you know, uh, just the bullet point, uh, skill set, contact information, key projects, any highlights of uh, the candidate. So it helps, uh, you know, uh, a quick glance towards the uh, upcoming interview. That is. Basically mention, you know, if the in JD the experience required is eight to twelve years, and if the candidate has nine years or eight years, we can tell in the prompt, you know, plus minus one year is okay, and based on that calculate the score. Uh, this so skill set is optional. We tell some level of shortlisting based on the resume and the job description. Correct. Yeah. We specify the instructions in our prompt to chat GPT. Okay. Any questions? That's it. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks a lot, guys.